So today we continue in our series on hyperpressive exercises and today we're going to work a little bit from the kneeling position. Welcome to the Flower Empowered. If it's uncomfortable for you to kneel on your knees, you can take a blanket, place that underneath your knees, gives you a little bit more support. We're going to do this first, just sitting, and then we're going to actually extend the hips while in this position. So we'll start just coming around and we're just going to do our usual cycle. Now, if you haven't already practiced hyperpressives, please do go back to the beginning of the series and please do work through the different stages so that you you develop your ability to achieve your apnea and you work on your diaphragmatic strength over time rather than just jumping right into this one. So for this we're going to rest the hands on the legs. We're going to sit comfortably on the heels. Again using blankets if you need to. If you can't actually get your bum all the way down to the heels you can actually place a blanket underneath so that you're sitting up and you can do this also if you feel like you collapse in your low back putting a blanket between the heels and the knees can help for you to get that nice neutral starting position. So taking the variation that works best for you, we're just going to place the hands on the legs, just nice and relaxed. We're going to um, do our inhalation and exhalation here. Just I want you to feel like you're expanding the ribs out to the side when you're breathing. So starting with our inhalation and exhalation. Inhale and exhale for your apnea. And exhale. So when you take your apnea, try, imagine that you're breathing into your lungs. So even though you're holding the breath out, I want you to make the breathing motion with your rib cage. So try to expand the rib cage with the air out. That really contributes to a strong lift for your apnea. We're gonna do this one one more time. So inhalation, exhalation. Inhale deeply, exhale. And at the end of the exhale, hold the breath out and go for your apnea. Okay, so now we've started warm things up a little bit for our apnea. We're just going to come into our next position. So for the next position, we're actually going to extend the hips during the apnea. So we're going to take the hands onto the floor behind the back. So the hands should be with the, uh, the wrists under the elbows, under the shoulders. So you're all the way back and you can just Take a little adjustment as you need to. And once we take our apnea, we're actually going to lift up our hips and then take them down again. So this one is quite a challenge as well. And you need to be able to open through the rib cage as well as getting the hips up. Now this requires that nice opening. So if you struggle a little bit with opening the, the rib cage, we have a number of relaxation pelvic floor videos that, that also work a little bit on the other muscles in the body and opening things up. So you could try one of those to help get you open. And of course the first hyperpressive video in this series includes the wide-legged child pose and a version of melting heart, which is a hip opener. So very good to do here. So. Let's start with our inhalation, exhalation, inhale, and exhale for your apnea. I'm going to do that one more time. So you're going to exhale. And you're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then we're going to take the apnea, lift up the hips, hold them up, and then we will lower them down, relax the rib cage, and inhale again. So here we go. Inhalation. Exhalation. Inhalation. Exhalation. And hold the breath out. Take your apnea. And then we lift the ribs and the hips. Okay, 
So that um, it was quite a, a challenging version of these hyperpressives. Now that with the hip extension is reaching a little into your psoas and your psoas is a muscle that runs down the back of the spine from the base of the rib cage and then it crosses the hips and attaches onto the femur. Now that when we extend the hip, we're, we're giving that a little bit of a stretch while doing this um, hyperpressive connection between the rib cage and the, diaph the diaphragm, sorry, and the pelvic floor. Now the psoas is actually a muscle that participates in breathing. Not everybody is of that opinion, but I am a student of Tom Myers and this is something that that we go through quite a bit. The breathing, relationship between breathing and the psoas um, is a, a quite a key relationship. So by using this form of hyperpressive, where you're actually getting in and actively working that psoas while you're in that position, you are contributing to a stronger, purer breath. So I hope you enjoyed this little hyperpressive exercise today. We're going to take it up a little notch next week by including some bands in our exercises. So if you don't already have a little exercise band, you should get one for next week. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, share or comment. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And remember to talk about pelvic floor dysfunction. We talk about these things, they are no longer a taboo. Together we can and will make a difference.